Hey everybody, this is Steve and welcome to another Clean Mesh tutorial. In this one, we're going to be going over the next lesson in Philogix PBR Painter Pro. And in this one, I'm going to show you how to not only access the different brushes, but kind of like just add any colors you want to the scene. So if you liked purple, you could add purple and all these different layers and then control each one of those layers with opacity and switch between them so that you can have a desired effect. And it won't be a short or long tutorial. I'm just keep, keep it on like 20 minutes if I can. So let's jump right in. All right, guys, let's get right to it. I've got the favored Suzanne and I'm going to sub our Suzanne twice. I'm going to apply and just add a little shade smooth so these things look nice. Now, you know the basics. We have to not only first save the file, then we have to add a new shader to it. We can call it monkey one or something like that. Hit enter a couple of times and we jump right in. Now, before we do anything else, I'm just cutting out all of the nonsense here and we'll just go directly to bake. Um, lower this down to four. If you have a slow PC, it should be fine. Take it down to like 124. Um, just click ambient, normal, edge mark and curvature and then click bake and I'll see you in just a second. And one real quick thing, you can actually live real time see the bake happening, which is super cool. Okay, back to pause. All right, so now all that's done, just minimize that. And what we wanna do is go in here and start adding some custom layers and we're just gonna do paint. Now, the first thing you're gonna want to do is go in here and add a custom layer, but jump over here to layers and just add one and then come back over to base all right so now let's go over to layer mask I don't really see anything right now and we're gonna grab the little brushes here and we're gonna drop these down and just so you know I am using version 2 version 2 2.2.0 2. for the Philogix PBR painter and it's available for download and all these are pretty wonderful so underneath the paint you'll see the brushes and you have to hit paint first and then select whatever you baked with select that if it's 512 select it and then don't touch the color just hit okay and now what you could do is you can come in here and click this a couple times and you don't actually see anything even though you're on the layer mask so let's jump back over to material and you can see we're kind of scuffing and adding some like war paint if you will and hit F to kind of like increase this if you want and I'm not going to um, do too much to this. Like, I just want to kind of give it some coolness. Okay, it looks pretty neat. And just kind of like click with the mouse a couple times. And so what this could be is like, oh, I don't know, some rust, some uh, war paint, like whatever, right? So now that you've done that, you can click finish and <clears throat> let's add another layer and let's come over here to custom layers and this one I'm just gonna start naming these because I didn't really do that I'm gonna put this as number two and okay it's not gonna take the hashtag oh, I took it and I'll put this one as number one for my first layer and then I've got a base I'm not gonna worry about that so up here at number two I'm gonna jump back over to the base throw another paint and on this one I'm gonna choose a different brush just click paint hit OK and then grab something else like these cracks are really cool but I'm gonna change the color to green it doesn't have to be anything special and now I'm just gonna add these green cracks and because this is a layer system you can throw these on top of the other one and I think that really looks pretty cool all right, and then all you have to do is grab something else, like a different color. You can make them up, maybe something like a magenta, who knows, and then come back down to the brushes and grab the splatter. And we're still working with the same thing here. And you'll have to turn the strength up and down as you see fit, which also works with Control F right here. And you can see when you do Control F, you can kind of see 
Okay, it's not showing you the scale, but it works. So I would turn the strength all the way up or down, doesn't matter, whatever you want to do. And just to kind of clean this up a little bit, I think I'll make the brush size a little small. And then I'll just throw some splatters in here. This looks pretty good. And just do whatever you want with it. Get used to using the brush and the layer system. It's very powerful. And like I said, this is going to take uh, quite a few tutorials really to go through all this. And just remember, the more you paint, and I'm just kind of left click dragging, the more you do this, uh, the better you'll get. So now, with that layer, if I don't like that layer necessarily or I want to fade it down, I can do just that. But I'm going to leave it all the way up. And I can go to back to layer number one and bring the opacity down if I just want the green cracks that are on there, which I think are pretty cool. But I'm going to leave all this up. I'm going to turn the radius up and turn the opacity up. Actually, let's fade that a little bit. It looks kind of cool, like a little baseball player, right? So now I'm going to come back over to the layers and I will add number three. And for some reason, that put itself between number one and two so just kind of be aware of that so number three and I'll move that up and I'm gonna come back over to the base and grab the brushes again and it's kind of like practice at this point right and you do have to click finish so don't forget to do that and I'll take this right here and I'll kind of like smear in this is more of like an actual brush and it's more of that color so I'm gonna change this to like green or something we can paint this entire thing and you see you can paint right over the other layers but if you bring the strength down you can just kind of smear it in there and then of course the radius can be changed over here as well if you want to like grab the whole model I think I'm about to crash blender on that one Okay, it didn't actually crash. I wouldn't recommend you do that with a slower computer. So, I'm going to bring that radius down quite a bit. Then if I don't like this, of course, when you add the individual layers, you can just get rid of them. Bring them down to pass, uh, the opacity down on them. And then, click finish. Don't forget that. And I'm going to kind of go through here and make sure, because I didn't click finish on these. Got to do that. And it looks like we're all good. All right, now for the cool part and you're like what this was the cool part no not really check this out now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually add a base to this because we don't have the base on yet right we're just painting straight up on the mesh which is cool I mean it's still a layer so it's custom but I'm gonna click this uh, for the custom the presets if you will come down here to UV remember switch this to box and we're on the base and we're on material 6 so I'm gonna call this rust base one and you're really gonna have to label these in a way that's very specific otherwise you're gonna get messed up then come down here to the bottom and click this and it'll give you the smart materials and all the different overlays so just pick one whatever you want I'm gonna go with the rust course and I'll wait for that to load shouldn't take more than about five seconds okay pretty good so now that's covering everything right I mean you can't see anything but if you come over here to the opacity and bring it down, you can get something. But that still looks like garbage. I don't like that at all. So what I'll do is I will leave it all the way up for now. And remember, like over here in the collections, um, organization matters. Also, when the modifiers go in like a subsurf, that has to be in a certain order. You can't put that after something you have to subdivide it first and then put a different modifier right so what you'll do is you'll come up here to the hierarchy here and grab the rust base one and bring it down and then obviously you gotta wait a second and I will bring the opacity down just a touch and if you bring it down again What you're doing is you're gonna raise those other layers. And so I'll bring it down one more time. And now the other layers are there and you could conceptually bring up the uh, opacity on the rust all the way. And now this I think is probably 
about halfway to the pinnacle of how amazing the layer system is in Philogix PBR Painter. And so now I've got that rust material and I've got my paint, my custom layers. I've got my paint cracks, which are highlighted very nicely. Let's see what happens if we bring this down one more time. So the rust is our true base. Then we have one, two, three, and then four. Hey, look at that, we've got all of it back. So now what you could do is you can come into the rust and change the bump map and bring that up just a little bit if you want to make it look a little better. And then you could bring the rust, uh, you know, there's a little variation there. You can do a couple things with it. You can change the color. You could brighten the rust up. You could kind of match what's going on, which looks pretty nice. I'm gonna bring the brightness all the way up on the slider and then just kind of go maybe somewhere between these colors and the pink and the red. I think that looks really nice. So doesn't matter, whatever you're trying to achieve, you can do it. Philogix PBR is insane. Look at this, it's not even 10 minutes yet. I usually I, I run long. Nobody wants a long tutorial. So here you go. This unlocks a huge portion of the PBR Painter. And if you haven't seen my first video yet, you really gotta go check that one out. It's the one that has the paint brushes on it. It says Philogix PBR. So check that one out. That's my first video. That'll give you a bunch of the basics and things like that. But I'm pretty sure, you know, because I keep everything to like a beginner level. So I'm pretty sure everybody can follow along. And then, of course, you can get in here and render this bad boy out and put it in cycles. And it looks pretty insane in cycles as well. So. I really appreciate you watching. Smash that subscribe button, hit that like button. And yes, uh, Philogix does sponsor me, so get over there and uh, go ahead and download this. And this is, like if you follow along Substance Painter, you can follow along with this and you can get a ton of results. It's, it's pretty limitless. So I really appreciate you watching, guys. See you in the next tutorial. Yes, I'm gonna do another Philogix PBR.